The Shoemaker and His Elves, a retelling of the Grimm's fairy tale, retold by Eric Blair, illustrated by Bill Dixon. Was a poor shoemaker. He could buy only enough leather to make one pair of shoes at a time. One night, he cut the leather for the shoes he wanted to make the next day. Then he went to bed. The next morning, a pair of shoes was already made. The shoes were perfect. A rich man paid twice the price for them. The shoemaker was able to buy enough leather for two pairs of shoes. Again, he cut the leather for the shoes he planned to make the next day. The next morning, two pairs of shoes were made. These shoes sold right away too. The shoemaker made enough money to buy leather for four pairs of shoes. The next morning, four pairs of shoes were made, and so it went. The shoemaker made a lot of money. Before long, he was rich. One night. He said to his wife, "Let's stay up tonight. Maybe we can see who is helping us." That night, the shoemaker and his wife hid. Around midnight, two naked little men sat down at the table. They worked. All night, the shoemaker and his wife watched. When the shoes were done, the little men ran away. Those two little men have made us rich. We should help them, the wife said. What should we do? Asked the shoemaker. Well, they don't have any clothes, his wife said. I will make them shirts, coats, pants, and socks. And I will make them shoes, the shoemaker said. The shoemaker and his wife waited for Christmas Eve. Then they put the shoes and the clothes on the table. Around midnight, the little men showed up again. They saw the shoes and the clothes. They were very surprised. They quickly put the clothes on. Then. They started to sing. Now we are men so fine to see. They sang. No longer shoemakers shall we be. The little men danced and danced. At last, they danced out the door. They were never seen again. The shoemaker and his wife were rewarded for their good deeds. They succeeded in everything they tried, and they lived happily ever after. The end.